Firefighters are keeping an eye out because winds are supposed to pick right back up again tonight. Combine that with lower humidity starting this Sunday. Meteorologist Jacqueline Bennett joins us now with an update on the red flag warning and the new normal. Well, Chris, the Spectrum News 1 weather team is forecasting northerly wind gusts tonight up to about 45 miles per hour to come through the area and in the area of where the Saddle Ridge fire was burning. This is going to put our first responders on high alert. And with me now is Los Angeles Fire Department Captain Eric Scott, whose team has been on the front lines of that first wildfire of the season. Thanks for joining us. You're welcome. So the Saddle Ridge fire is about 60% contained. You come in with new numbers tonight. But how are these winds tonight going to pose a risk for that area? of the fire kicking back up? Well, the challenge is you still have 8,391 acres that are smoldering, and the original fire burned through so fast because it was a Santa Ana wind-driven fire that there's portions that didn't completely burn. So you still have some green vegetation in the midst of all that smoldering debris. Now you bring in these winds that you just brought up, and that can kick that up, reignite it. Now, does it matter that the winds tonight are more northerly and not as much of a Santa Ana influence, meaning they're not coming from the inland valleys and blowing towards the coastline? Well, we certainly have to pay close attention to the direction so we keep firefighters out of harm's way and to ensure that it doesn't go into a certain community. So it is going to be switching directions, as you had mentioned, around uh, Sunday. So tonight and Saturday is certainly a, a time period that we're paying very close attention to because it's the wind-driven fires that come through like a freight train. Now, we have to give you guys some props because that's a very populous area where this fire broke out. A lot of homes were threatened, but not very many were damaged or destroyed, correct? That's an excellent point. Yes, 17,600 homes were directly impacted by flame, and only 19 were destroyed. So firefighters did an outstanding job. And to kind of put that into perspective, the Woolsey fire that everyone remembers that burned through Malibu, uh, destroyed over 1,600 homes. So when you compare that to the 19, uh, we feel that is, of course, uh, fortunate for those numbers. Now, I do want to talk a little about the evacuation orders. There were a lot of mandatory evacuations that were issued with this last fire. And some people maybe not paying attention to that and breaking the evacuation order. How does that put firefighters and, of course, them at risk if they do that? Well, certainly we want everyone to, to pay attention to those. Some individuals, we understand, they have a desire to uh, be able to try to protect their own home. However, when they stay there, they not only put themselves in danger's way, and we actually had to rescue people out of their home that were unconscious and bring them out, um, but also then you're putting firefighters in harm's way. So versus us going out and strategically battling the fire, we have to move those resources to areas that people that did not heed the evacuation warning to get them out. Well, Captain Scott, stay safe out there tonight, and hopefully we don't have any big problems with tonight's winds. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. All right, from one.